Hey, how's it going? YouTube is Harry once again with another quick video for OC DIY appliance repair. Anyways, um, quick video. I had a question yesterday from a viewer, Ash Royal eighty six, I believe it his name is. Shout out to you. Anyways, um, he was installed a compressor yesterday on his refrigerator a few days ago. And he had a couple questions because his gauges were in negative pressures after installing it. So we were trying to figure out if, um, trying to help him out and see if he had a, a restriction or what the problem is. So I was asking him if he had a three-way valve in his refrigerator and he didn't know. So I wanted to show you what a three-way valve looks like. Three-way valve looks like this. It's in here. It has a connector right here, and you can tell because most refrigerators don't have these. LG is one of the ones that do, but in this case, it does. And it has two little capillaries, so it's a new EVAP system. And the capillary, this one is a little bit bigger. So this goes into the filter dryer that goes in here, into the three-way valve, and then it shoots into the freezer, which is a blue and the refrigerator section, which is the red section. So what this does is it has a dual EVAP system in the refrigerator and um, it cools both systems independently. Um, but anyways, when you replace this compressor, um, the work is, the you know, the process is pretty much the same. You know, you cut your discharge and you cut this one, which is the section, add your, your service port replace the filter but what you need to do before you get started um, you want to plug in your refrigerator I know I've already started but uh, I was doing this and remembered the question so you want to plug it in and when your refrigerator starts there's a little black button right here you want to press that one time and that's going to go into um, test mode but what it does it opens both of these evaporators at the same time and you will know that it's in that test mode because it will look like this in the front okay so it does that for a few minutes but as soon as you do that, go ahead and unplug it. And don't plug it back in. This way, when you pull a vacuum, it pulls a vacuum from both the evaporator in the freezer and the evaporator in the refrigerator. Um, otherwise, you'll only um, pull a vacuum in one side or the other. Or if the valve is actually closed, um, you won't pull a vacuum in there and either or so you'll find if you don't do this um you'll have um air that'll get trapped in the system um and you end up getting all that contaminants you know in your system which is no good um but anyways hope this answers the question um and don't forget to like subscribe and comment share this video I um, want to thank all the new subscribers. Um, we are at about 830, hoping to get to 1,000 pretty soon. Um, so if you guys can help out, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.